In this episode, I'm going to cover editing the iOS plugin bits for my Flutter plugin. To start off, I'll create a Flutter plugin. Then I'll build the iOS example plugin so I can open it in Xcode. Once I have it ready for Xcode, I'll open it in Xcode and edit the native iOS plugin bits. Then I'll run the Flutter example plugin from Xcode. So to get started, I'm going to go to my terminal on my Mac. And what I want to do first is create a Flutter plugin. I'll go Flutter create plugin. And then my, my name for it will be my plugin. So once I do this, I'm going to hit enter and the plugin will generate. Once the plugin generates, what I want to do is change into the example application directory for the plugin. So I'm going to go my plugin example. So change directory CD my plugin autocomplete with tab example autocomplete with tab and then I'm going to hit enter. Once I'm in this directory, the example application directory, I'm going to go flutter build iOS and this will build the iOS version for the plugin. And this will allow me to open it up in Xcode. It's quick to build. So there are three steps and these three steps are listed in the terminal here in the console output. So the first step, I want to open the iOS project and I can basically copy this here, control C or command C, and I'm going to paste it with command V. And the next step is select the runner project in the navigator, then the runner target in the project settings. Okay, so then I go to the general tab and the development team. Okay, so I'm going to open it first. So the first step is I'm going to hit the runner. And once I'm in runner, I'm going to select the targets runner. This brings me to my project configuration. Under here, we also have signing. And here's the development team. Well, it doesn't say development team, but this is the team. And I'm only one user. So I'm going to be a personal team and I'm going to select myself. And what happens here, it fails to provision the profile because I haven't enrolled in the Apple program or Apple developer program yet. And so once I do that, I pay the money for that. I can get this going without errors. At this time, I'm just going to show the simple configuration and how to debug in Xcode. So I won't cover this in this video. I'll cover that another day. So I'm going to go over to the left, Project Explorer. I'm going to expand pods and I'm going to go to development pods. Once I expand development pods, I'm going to go to my plugin classes, and then I'm going to open the interface by selecting it. Then I'm going to select the implementation. And once I select the implementation, I can see where the handle method call is. And this should return the current device system version as a string with iOS um, back as the result. What if I wanted to test this in, in Xcode? Well, I can by simply running it. I'm going to change the target simulator by selecting iPhone 7 and then I'm going to click on run. This will run the debugging process in Xcode. I don't have to open up IntelliJ with a Flutter plugin. I can use Xcode to develop the iOS plugin, which is fantastic. Okay, so it ran behind here or it's booting up behind. I brought it forward and here's iPhone 7. All right, fantastic. Running on iOS 10.3. So here's iOS and here's the current device and system version returned as that result. So that's easy to run and debug in iOS. So this concludes this video today. Thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks and I'll catch you later.